At Man City Fan TV, we're really pleased to promote this wonderful sketchwork artwork by a lady called Leslie Ross. You can follow Leslie uh, on Twitter at 111Leslie111 and also follow her on Facebook and Twitter at 9320Art. Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, today is the day of the West Ham game. Uh, I'm just sort of packing everything up, ready to leave shortly in the next hour or two to get to the Etihad early. It's a you know an eight o'clock kickoff, so it's always one of those whereby after a long sort of day, two days away in Wembley, uh, then uh, you know a couple of days later we're uh, we're back uh, for a late kickoff midweek, so uh, yeah, a little bit tired. Uh, got loads on with work and things like that, but uh, I've just got home and I just thought I'd do a quick uh, vlog uh, on the game tonight because uh, last night I was doing a podcast with um, the attacking two from Chelsea, a bit of a review on the game uh, at Wembley. Um, so anyway, on to tonight's game. Like I said eight o'clock kickoff at the Etihad. <laughs> Um, who's Pep going to pick? It's going to be really difficult because obviously we know that Stones is still out. We know Fernandinho is still out. And obviously I think the comments were that Gabby is out. But Gabby, I think from watching some videos last night on training, Gabby was around the team training. Uh, now, whether it, we didn't see him in full training, so whether he was actually uh, just on the periphery of uh, of the actual training session or not i'm not sure uh, i guess we'll wait and see later on tonight when we're at the ground but you know gabby could be potentially fit now one of the uh, contention is ben mendy now pep did say in his presser yesterday and, and ray did a video on this is uh, that he's been training around the squad uh, for the last four or five days is he going to be fit um do we bring Ben Mendy in? Uh, do we give Zinchenko a rest? I mean, he, he had a great game uh, at the weekend in the Carabao Cup final. Uh, do Is Delph fit? And is Delph going to actually play at left-back? Uh, so we know that um, <clears throat> we, we potentially have lost John Stones uh, as a centre-back. So is it going to be Vinny and Otamendi again? Do, you can't bring Fernandinho back in there. Does he bring Eric Garcia uh, back, but Eric Garcia played, you know, last night. So, yeah, it's a, it's a conundrum, uh, and it's a really, really important game. Uh, we, on the back of the fact that Liverpool drew against United, they're only one point ahead. Liverpool are thinker at home tonight against Watford, uh, so you'd have to fancy them against Watford. And uh, yeah, we need to get this right. What, whatever the system is, uh, we need to get it right. And it was brilliant listening to Pep's uh, press conference yesterday, uh, right at the end, when he just basically said, no excuses, you know, I don't, I'm not buying into this tiredness and things like that. We've got a squad, uh, a big squad, uh, it, as in a big squad of, of very, very good players, and we have rotated. <clears throat> so it's good that he's putting that sort of mentality into the players, saying, I'm not having any excuses over this. Um, you are professional footballers uh, we have loads of games you know that and if you can't basically play a couple of games in a week then uh, you're not it's not not my problem uh, you need to have that mentality whereby we go we go we go again uh, and we fight to the end and he did say he used that terminology we fight to the end and we fight every single game so it's really good that he sort of dismissed the Sort of questions from some certain journals on the fact that we've had so many games and could the players be tired? And to be fair, we looked a little bit leggy in the cup final. I must admit, it wasn't a great game. It was pretty boring, if I'm honest. But uh, uh, you know, we, like I said, we go again. And at this stage of the season, you know, they came back immediately the next day on Monday morning uh, into training, and it'll just be ticking over sessions. There'll be no intensity in it. It'll just be tactics formations and just a warm down and get yourself ready and today they'll probably do a light uh, yesterday they would have done a light session and then again this morning they'll probably have done a, just a really light session just to loosen up so uh yeah it's it's great that we've got a manager that's you know putting in this positivity in there and and, and not looking for excuses uh we have to go out west ham are going to be a, a very difficult team uh tonight and We've, we're welcoming back, you know, three people, 
you know, Nasri, who probably will start, Zabaleta, don't know whether he'll start or not, and obviously Manuel Pellegrini, and I hope the City fans give him a, a round, all three of them, give him a, a round of applause and, uh, you know, welcome him back. Not too much, uh, because we don't want to sort of like push them to, to a point where they really want to win the game, but I think it'll be a difficult game. But uh, on to <clears throat> the starting lineup. There's been lots of debate, will Phil Foden start? And I'll be honest, I'm... I'm in the camp that I don't think at this stage of the season we should be throwing somebody in who needs developing. Uh, and Foden does need developing. He's still in, you know, he's only 18 years of age and, and, and that's great. And I'd have him on the bench and bring him on potentially. But I'm not sure whether Foden is deserving, uh, certainly over other players, as a, as a starter for City tonight. Uh, I just, it's not for me. Um... Now, it could be absolutely wonderful. Uh, it could be brilliant. And there's one thing playing brilliantly in a sort of cup game, uh, very lesser opposition, and then bringing him in and trying to trust um, somebody of uh, 18 years of age to be a starter. Um, so <clears throat> I, can't, I, I can't see it happening. Uh, I hope he does. I mean, but I, I'd be very surprised if uh, Phil Foden actually starts tonight. I think he'll definitely get game time off the bench. Uh, we've got then the rotational problem of Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva, Bernardo Silva. We've got Mares who hasn't played lately. Um, Leroy Sane only got sort of like I said came on as a substitute in the Carabao Cup final. So I'd be I'd be really shocked if he doesn't start tonight. Do we rotate Raheem Sterling? He played right to the end. I mean, but at the end of the day, like Pep said, these players should be buzzing. Uh, you know, they've just won the Carabao Cup final. They've just won a the first trophy of the season, official trophy. Um, and at this stage of the season, that adrenaline, that momentum is all important, especially we're only one point behind Liverpool. You know, if we were 10 points clear or five points clear, you could see changes tonight because it doesn't really matter if we drop three points. But every game is absolutely critical uh, to the season. You know, if we were to drop points tonight or get no points and Liverpool go and win suddenly there's a four-point gap. And that is everything is in Liverpool's hands because, I'll be honest, I can't see Liverpool winning every single game to the end of the season. I think there'll be the odd draw in there. Maybe they won't get beaten, but it's important that we we keep this momentum, uh, this this good feeling that's around this squad at the moment. So, on to the team. Uh, like I said, I, who knows what Pep Guardiola is going to pick. Uh, but I just made some notes earlier um, when I got back and I thought... Mm, who would I play? And this is just my opinion. You comment below the video, give us yours, and uh, you know we'll all agree, disagree, argue about it, and it doesn't really matter because we don't know. Pep will, Pep will be the one. We'll know at 7 o'clock tonight, uh, UK time, uh, when the team is announced, and uh, we might be completely wrong, we might be nearly right, we might be completely right. Uh, but anyway, this is my team. So, Edison starts in net. Um... I'm going to actually go for Danilo at right back. Uh, I'm, he came on for a few minutes uh, into the midfield, um, but I've got a feeling he might rest Walker. Uh, and like I said, this is a bit of an out, out there team. I'm, I'm going to go Danilo at right back. I think Vinny and Otamendi will potentially play. I can't see anybody else coming in there. There is the option of maybe bringing Sandler into the team. That is always the option, but... I think it's such an important game that we maintain that you know that that uh, three points tonight in the Premier League. So I'm going to go with Vinny and Otter Mendy again with with Laporte being out now left back, and this is a wild guess. I'm going to say Mendy might come back tonight and he might play left back. So I'm going to go with Ben Mendy. Uh, I might be completely wrong. He might put Danilo there. He might put Delph there. Or he might put Zinchenko back in even. But I'm going to go out there and on a limb and, and say Ben Mendy might get a game tonight. Gundogan, I think, might be the holding player. Ahead of him, I'm going to drop David Silva to the bench. Uh, he played a lot of minutes lately. Uh, he's not been in the best of form. Uh, but I think Bernardo needs to come back into that central role. I'm going to stick with KDB because we need to get him back into some sort of form. Because uh, he's not been great coming back from those two injuries. But... Is a player is a game changer, uh, and I still think anybody with the wonderful right foot that he's got, uh, he can cause problems at any given moment. So for me, I still stick with uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Now, 
I'm going to go Sane on the left. I think uh, it's, it's an absolute shoo-in to start tonight. Uh, is Gabby fit? Is he or isn't he? But if not, then Aguero starts up front. He'll want to start banging in some more goals in the Premier League, looking for that golden boot. Now, I'm going to go Mares to come in tonight and Sterling to drop to the bench. I think... Uh, I'd personally play Sterling uh, that, uh, every day of the week. I'd, I'd have Sterling, Aguero, Sane. But I've got a feeling that because Mares hasn't had any game time, I think Mares may come into the picture tonight and play on the right. So, yeah, it's one, like I said, it's one of those um, who knows what Pep's going to pick tonight. Like I said, we could bring Foden in quite easily, drop Kevin De Bruyne to the bench, put Foden in there. But when you've lost the likes of Fernandinho out of your, your sort of defensive uh, midfield three, um, it's a big risk to drop the likes of Fernandinho and Kevin De Bruyne to bring in the likes of Gundogan to hold Bernardo and Phil Foden. So I'd be very shocked. But, you know, he may do that. He may have absolute faith in Foden starting tonight. Um, so looking at the team... Give us your comments below. Who do you think Pep's going to pick tonight? Um, it's going to be a difficult game. Uh, like I said, you've got players like Zaba, even though he's a City legend. You've got Nasri coming back as well. We've got Pat Manuel Pellegrini. He'll want to do well uh, at, back at the Etihad with West Ham. West Ham, we know on their day, can be very, very good. On other days, they can be awful. So... Yeah, it's a dangerous game. Uh, it's one of those games uh, at this stage of the season whereby it's three points. I don't care whether it's a bore, bore fest like the Chelsea game was at uh, the Carabao Cup final and we win 1-0, I don't care. Um, what we can't do is drop points tonight. Uh, we cannot draw and we cannot get beat. So, uh, yeah, give us your comments below. What do you think the score's going to be? Who do you think Pep is going to pick tonight? It's interesting. It's really, really interesting because I think most weeks we can sort of pick the team. Uh, with injuries now that we've got, it makes it a little bit more difficult. And we're obviously, we've got Bournemouth away coming up as well. Uh, we just had, you know, like I said, the Carabao Cup final on Sunday where we went all the way through extra time and penalties, etc., etc. Uh, yeah, who knows? But anyway, I'm going to leave. It's, uh, it's about half past one now, so I'm going to be leaving to go to the Etihad around about three, three, four o'clock. I'll get down there early, uh, go and have a chat to some fans. I'm going to meet up with Ray later uh, at the stadium. So uh, don't forget, subscribe, click notification. And don't forget, comment below the videos and give us your, your squad uh, for your first 11 for tonight. Uh, and if you're around the Blue Moon Cafe, the City Store, etc., come over and have a chat. Uh, it's really nice. Met some brilliant people on uh, on Sunday at Wembley uh, at the Novotel where we were staying overnight. And sort of before the game and after the game, they came over and went, "Oh, you're Andy from Man City Fan TV, Ray," and and it was great. Uh, shout out to uh, Blackpool Ray. He came over and uh, we had a chat with him, and we've obviously been conversing on Twitter quite a lot for the last sort of year or so. But he came over and said, "It's great to finally meet you," and uh, met loads of others as well, guys from Australia and. Yeah, it's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful when you have a day out like that where people come over and have a chat with you and say, oh, I can put a face to, you know, the uh, the comments on Twitter and the videos and, and, and everything else. So don't be afraid, please come over, have a chat with us. Uh, we're friendly guys um, and uh, it'd be great to get you on our, on our channel. Uh, we'll be putting out videos before the game tonight. Uh, we'll uh, hopefully the Wi-Fi is better than Wembley because that was absolutely atrocious uh, on Sunday. That's why it was late uh, coming out on uh, on Sunday night. Uh, by the time I got to my hotel room, and then everybody had cleared away from Wembley suddenly and out of the hotel, it was just a guest. Suddenly the Wi-Fi came back on and could put those videos out for 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 the. Uh, for the subscribers of the channel and the followers of the channel. So uh, anyway, check us out later. I need to go and get packing, uh, get all the uh, gear going and uh, get over to the Etihad later. But this is Andy from Man City Fan TV. Thank you. We're nearly at 7,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll put some shout outs uh, coming up now uh, for some of the uh, followers. We said we'd do it for free. Uh, most videos, uh, we'll give some shout outs to people uh, who are subscribers of the channel. So if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon. Yes, yes, yes.